so I'd like to give you an example of uh, isolating um, in your mining rig. If you if you have a power supply that isn't enough for the number of cards you have, but you can get these like cheap power supplies, like this one I just got free. It's just like a 250 watt um, one that, that you can easily get from a recycled computer or something. Um, what you can do. Um, you can separate that power supply from the rest of your system by using one of these riser boards. So these cost a couple of dollars on the AliExpress, and they're um, they're basically like a PCI uh, 16 sized port, so something the graphics card can fit into. But it connects into the sketchy looking little USB thing, which then can connect into a one-time slot. Um, so there's another that that sized one there, um, which means you can fit more cards in, even when cause you can't physically get another card in on this motherboard. I think that's a just PCI slot, so that wouldn't work. Um, but also, it means that down here you can see one of the connectors is actually um, like a power supply as well. So normally these cards they take a draw from the motherboard, so you can't put too many in. Um, otherwise, it's drawing too much, like through the motherboard itself, and then because they're not really designed for it. So this bypasses that problem and means you have bypass the space problem. But because then the circuits all separated, it means you can have a separate power supply. The only tricky thing is the um, this. Don't do your cables this way. This is a really terrible idea. But um, this thing, which normally connects into the motherboard you'll see on the green wire um, that needs to be shorted out to one of the black wires because the green wire controls whether the ATX power supply is on or off so if you short that out then you can just control it with the switch on the side there um, and then all you have to do is make sure that switch is on before the rest of your system and you're good